Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today, we will learn the SQL interview questions and answers. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data science and analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Caltech, Purdue, IIT Kanpur, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced Excel, advanced Python, machine learning, data visualization, generative AI, and over a dozen of other skills. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working on top tier data and product companies and academicans from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science or data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data science and data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interests. Now without further delay, let's get started with the first question in the docket. So the first question is, what is SQL and what is the order of SQL query execution? So the answer for this question is, SQL or Structured Query Language is a programming language designed for managing and manipulating relational databases. It is used to perform operations like querying data, updating data, inserting data, and deleting data from a database. And the correct order of execution of a SQL query is as follows. It starts a SQL query execution starting from the FROM clause. Followed by that, the WHERE clause, then GROUP BY, HAVING, SELECT, ORDER BY, AND LIMIT. Now with that, let's move ahead to the second question. What is the difference between SQL and NoSQL databases? The answer is, SQL databases are relational databases that use a structured schema and are suitable for complex query intensive transactions. NoSQL databases are non-relational and are suitable for large amounts of unstructured data and real-time applications. Now, moving ahead, we have the third question. Explain the difference between inner joint and left joint. The answer for this question is, inner joint returns only the row where there is a match in both tables, where left joint returns all rows from the left table and the matched rows from the right table. If there is no match, null values are returned for columns from the right table. Now, let's move ahead into the fourth question. What is normalization and denormalization? The answer is, normalization is the process of organizing data in a database to reduce redundancy and improve data integrity. Denormalization, on the other hand, is the process of combining tables to minimize the number of joins for query optimization. Now, the fifth question. Explain the asset properties in the context of a database. Asset stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. These properties ensure that database transactions are processed reliably. Atomicity ensures that the transaction is treated as a single, indivisible unit. Consistency ensures that a transaction brings the database from one valid state to another. Isolation ensures that concurrent execution of transactions does not interfere with other. And durability ensures that once a transaction is committed, it remains committed even in case of a system failure. Now moving ahead, we have sixth question. What is the difference between group by and having clauses? The answer for this question is, Group by is used to arrange identical data into groups, typically to perform aggregation functions on each group, whereas on the other hand, having is used in combination with group.
group by to filter the results based on the condition applied to grouped data. Now, seventh question. Explain the difference between union and union all. The answer for this question is union combines the results of two select statements removing duplicate rows, while union all combines the results including duplicates. Now, the eighth question. What is a subquery? The answer for this question is a subquery is a query nested within another query. It can be used to retrieve data that will be used by the main query as a condition to further restrict the data to be retrieved. Now, the ninth question. How can you prevent SQL injection in your queries? The answer is SQL injection can be prevented by the following steps. To prevent SQL injection, use parameterized queries or prepared statements. These methods ensure that user input is treated as data and not as an executable code. Now, 10th question. Explain the difference between a primary key and a foreign key. The answer is, a primary key uniquely identifies each record in a table and must be unique and not null. A foreign key is a field in a table that is a primary key in another table establishing a link between the two tables. Now, the 11th question. What is the difference between a WHERE clause and a HAVING clause? The answer for this question is, the WHERE clause is used to filter rows before they are grouped and aggregated, whereas the HAVING clause is used to filter the results of aggregate functions applied to grouped rows. Now, the 12th question. Explain the concept of indexing in databases. The answer is, Indexing is a database feature that improves the speed of data retrieval operations on a database table by creating a data structure, also known as an index, on one or more columns of the table. Indexing allows the database engine to quickly locate and access the rows that satisfy a query. Now, the 13th question. What is a stored procedure? The answer is, a stored procedure is a pre-compiled collection of one or more SQL statements that can be executed as a single unit. It is stored in the database and can be called and executed by another program or another procedure. Now, the 14th question. How can you find the second highest or nth highest salary from a table? The answer is, you can use order by and limit clauses to find the second highest salary. For example, select salary from employees, order by salary descending, limit 1 or offset 1. In case if you wanted the nth highest salary, then provide offset n. Let's say if you wanted to get the fifth highest salary, then provide offset 5. Now moving ahead, we will discuss the 15th question. Explain the difference between a primary key and a unique key? The answer is, both primary key and unique key enforce the uniqueness of values in a column. But a table can have only one primary key, whereas it can have multiple unique keys. Moving ahead, we have the 16th question. What is a view in SQL? The answer is, a view is a virtual table based on the result of a select query. It does not store the data itself, but provides a way to represent the data stored in one or more tables in a specific way. Now, 17th question. What is the purpose of SQL case statement? The answer is, the case statement is used to perform conditional logic in SQL queries. It allows you to perform different actions based on different conditions. Now, 18th question. How can you update data in a table using SQL? The answer is, the update statement is used to modify the existing records in a table. For example, update employees set salary is equals to 50,000 where department is equals to IT. So you are giving an update command to table name employees and you want to set salary equals to 50,000 where department or department column is equals to the value it. Now, 19th question. Explain the difference between a 
clustered index and a non-clustered index? Answer. A clustered index determines the physical order of data rows in a table and a table can have only one clustered index. A non-clustered index does not affect the physical order of the rows and can be created on columns other than the primary key. Now moving ahead, we have the 20th question. What is the purpose of SQL join clause? The answer is, the join clause is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. There are various types of joins including inner join, left join, right join and full join, each serving a different purpose in combining data from multiple tables. Now moving ahead, we have another five questions from SQL interview questions and answers. These five questions will be based on query. So the interviewer might ask you or might give you a real time situation where you might have to extract the required results using a SQL query. So the following questions are 21st, write a SQL query to retrieve the total number of rows in a table. The answer for this question is select count star as total rows from your table name. So here you are trying to select the count function and star indicates select all the rows in your particular table and name the result as total rows from the given table. Let's say your given table is department. So select count star as total rows from department. Now moving ahead, 22nd question, write a SQL query to find the average salary of employees in a specific department. So here a specific department from an employee data table will be provided to you and that particular department is to be selected and you need to find the average salary of all the employees present in that particular department. For example, someone might get 50,000, someone might get 100,000, right? So the average salary of employees is 75,000 here. So you need to find out the average salary number. So the answer for this question is select average of salary as average salary from employees where department is equals to the given department. Let's say the interviewer asked you to find out the average salary from testing department. So you are going to write select average of salary and name the result as average salary from employees data table where department is equals to testing. And remember the testing word should be included in single quotes because it is character data type. So you can either add that particular text in between single quotes or double quotes. So remember, whenever you are using text-based data, try to include it in single quotes or double quotes. Now, moving ahead, we have next question. Write a SQL query to display the top five highest paid employees from a table. So here, the question might be the fifth highest or get all five top highest understand the question properly and write the answer. So the answer for this question is select employee ID, employee name, salary from employees data table, order by salary in descending order, limit five. So in this particular situation, the salaries uh, or the data will be organized in descending order. That is highest salary first, second highest, third highest, fourth highest and fifth highest. So entire data will be printed but you are trying to limit the values or the result to only five rows using the limit query so here select employee id employee name salary from employees data table order by salary descending order limit five is the answer now 24th question write a sql query to update the salary of all employees by a 10 percent increase so here you are trying to update a particular column which is the salary column. So you want to increase the salary of each and every employee by 10%, right? So in that situation, you might want to multiply the salary number with another number which is 1.1 which is also in terms of 10% increase. So the answer for this question is update employees table 
set salary column is equals to existing salary value into number 1.1. This should do the job. Now, the last question in our list for today. Write a SQL query to find the second most common value in a column. The answer for this question is set your column from your table, group by your column, order by count, descending, limit 1, offset 1. These questions test your ability to construct SQL queries from common tasks including data retrieval, aggregation, updating records, and working with ordering and limiting results. Practice writing and understanding these type of queries to enhance your SQL skills. And with that, we have come to the end of this session on SQL interview questions. Should you need any assistance, PPT and other resources used in this session, please let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.